Hello again, my name is Marcus. And I am Debbie. And you are listening to Discussions, brought to you by When Is This Pollen Gonna Stop? <laughs> <laughs> I clean, and we clean, and we clean, and the pollen keeps coming back. There's yellow fornicating pollen all oh, over. <laughs> you gotta tell the story behind where why we call nature's... Fornication. Fornication. <laughs> you tell it. What did we? What did we? When did we come up with that? I don't know. Was we, it here? We never really in Alaska. We never really had no. issues like this. It was the, it was the cottonwood. Cotton that that was the big bloomer. Yeah, but we didn't have allergies near what we had here. No, well, we didn't have pollen like in Alaska. It had it, but not nothing like this. No, this but is anyway, like your car is covered. It's all yellow. What, we are in the, I think people know that because we are in the South. Because only Southerners listen to this podcast? Exactly. Really? All four. I thought you were out All there. All four. I thought you were out there. Yeah. Apparently uh, you're not out there past the borders of South Carolina. Maybe one day. Maybe <laughs> one. No. So we ended up, you know, which, you know, we see the pollen. We know what it's for. We know what is going on. Why? It, it, la, 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 la. <laughs> a little. Daddy, uh, stop talking. Tree reproduction. <laughs> So one day, I don't know when it was, we came up with it and we were like, ah, Mother Nature's out there fornicating all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Spreading her pollen and seeds all over. Uh, making a big mess. So anyway. Trying to get it off my house. I'm off just, my car. Off my furniture. Off, off my beautiful deck that I just stained. <sighs> as it rains and there's like just piles of yellow. So anyway. I want to thank you, Pollen, for um, bringing this podcast to our <laughs> listeners today. So thank you again. So we have got a great subject we're going to talk about today. I'll let Debbie um, introduce the title, and we're going to get we're going to get going with this one right here. So it's near and dear to our hearts. Now that our kids are getting out of the house more, and we're down to two, and they now are both gainfully employed and on their own, we've been going out to eat a lot more. And so... Without them. Yay! (laughs) (laughs) We actually have money to go out and eat now. So anyway, so we decided as we've looked around um, when we are out in public and observed, because that's one of our favorite things to do, um, that there are some people that are lacking in restaurant etiquette. And so we decided that was going to be one of our discussions that we would cover is, you know... The things that irk us when we are out at a restaurant. And, and I'll bring the first one up. Here's the, now this is the one I go, if, well, I don't have a lot of listeners, but if they do, I might step on some toes here. But why do people bring their dogs to the restaurant? You just got a million haters. I'm just telling you. <laughs> Why? 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 Because I can tell point, you right now. Why the point? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you know the pet. Oh, they're not pet, the fur babies. You know things. Whatever you want to call them, the animals. Why must we have to bring animals to the restaurant? There, I don't quite understand that. Because we were at um, we were at a um Irish place and it was really good. And oh, that, there was. Oh, there was a pet there. Yeah. Yeah. The, and I, which I was but, very and it was in, it, this isn't like an Irish pub. This is like an a, Irish upper scale restaurant. And, and it had the indoor and the outdoor, outdoor dining. We and were, we usually prefer the outdoor dining only because I just, I like sitting outside when it's nice weather. and We don't get to do it for long. And so, sure enough, in the outside, somebody had brought their dog. And, you know, on a leash and such. But in my mind, isn't there... There has to be a DHEC thing. Or, well, DHEC is our um, like Department of Health and Education, something. I don't know. They do like the inspect, you know, restaurant inspections and things. But I don't care any restaurant. Wouldn't there? Isn't there have to be like a code? You know, bring an animal inside. I do understand, and I do believe in support. Like you know, they get you do have support animals, support dogs. This was not PTSD. a support animal. No, this was not one. This because this wasn't even a full grown dog. This was like a pup, not a, even a puppy puppy. It was kind of like an in between. Like, I mean, it definitely like an adolescent puppy, right? And it was well behaved. It was kind of sitting away from the table. They had it, you know, on the leash. You could tell 
the dog didn't want to be there because the dog did not want anything to do with its owners. It was literally sitting there like looking at everybody like, please, why am I here? Oh, I want to be home. And then we went to another to, place last night. We went to another place to wrap it up. And there was another dog there. <laughs> there were a couple of dogs there. Were there were actually quite a few dogs Now this there. one here, this place, is very liberal on just letting the dogs free range. Yes. Inside the establishment. Well, there was, so it has an outdoor part again, which people usually bring dogs there, which like I said, it's outdoors. I don't care, you know, but then there's also an indoor part and there were quite a few dogs in there last night. And, you know, again, you know, people have them sitting with them at, at the, at the, the bar area. People had them sitting at the table area. This one even let them off the leash and it was wandering around scrounging for food. Looking for scraps. Cause yeah. you know, they had, they had a pizza of there. And, so. of, and of course, you know, you know, people want to stop and pet the pets. Well, the pets don't want to be petted. They're looking around, they're trying to get away and the owners are too busy eating and drinking to pay attention to the fact that their pet doesn't want to be there. And yep. I guess that's my thing is I get that we all love our pets because I mean, we have a dog too and I love her to death. You know, we bring her for rides in the car because she likes that. Do we bring her to restaurants? No. Why? Because she doesn't want to be there. She would rather be at home in her bed or outside barking at, at squirrels, squirrels and birds <laughs> and, you know, laying out on the de back deck or, you know, sleeping in her bed, you know, all by herself. You know, she... It, they're happier at home. It's the same thing. Like I have a pet peeve with people who drive with animals on their laps. Ooh, I saw that today. If I am not Where allowed to drive with my kid on my lap because it's a distraction, or if I can't drive, text and drive, or be on the phone or whatever, why is it that you're allowed to have a dog running all over your lap or sitting, you know, with your over your arm with its head hanging out the window where you've only got one arm free? And or climbing back and forward to the back seat again. If I, don't, I can't have my kids free ranging in my car, why do I want my animals free ranging in my car? So we went from the restaurant to the car now. Well, it's just there's a place for animals. You're venting. I am venting because you know what? There's a play. There's a time and a place to have your animals, and I feel like at a restaurant or in the lap of your car. A the car whole thing. That's just not safe. And if you nope. really love your animal, you need to either have I, them restrained in the back seat. I've seen them. I think that is a. That's probably a law. On it that. is a law. I think it is. I think it is. But it just drives but the me restaurant nuts. thing. I just think with the restaurant thing, I think we're dealing with a whole. You know. And I've seen it where they're. You know, your dog may be great on its own. You know, but I can tell you right now, dogs are very territorial, and I don't care how nice your dog is. When you have like four to five other dogs in the same arena and they're coming up to you and they start coming up to your owner, that dog's going to get a little bit of defense. I mean, and we've seen it too. We've seen dog fights on the front porch. Yeah. Not the, on uh, our front porch, uh, at the restaurant. And porch. The, the place where we're at there. But anyway. I mean, and, and, and it, you know what? It's their natural instinct. You can't yell at them because they're doing what their job is, which is to protect their owner. That's their natural defense. Well, they so, just don't like other dogs. There's some there. Well, no, because, I mean, if, you know, you get in, everybody's got their space, and even dogs are like, you're in my space. Yeah, no. Back off. That well, dog, I mean, the dog's ain't, like, get out of my butt. <laughs> Quit smelling me. <laughs> well, and the other thing like, is, I don't know you. <laughs> if you're going out to have a good time with your friends and, you know, listen to music and, you know, have something to eat and drink or what, leave the dog at home. Like I said, they don't want to be there. They're not getting belly up to the bar, and they're not, you know, getting the stuff from the food truck. Leave them home. I guarantee they're happier. Exactly. If if you're worried, put a radio or a TV on. You know what? Throw them, you know, up, buy some dominoes and leave it out for them. I mean. Maybe they want to fight. <laughs> How about buy them a hat and they can accessorize? And a sweater. And a I sweater. swear that dog last night looked like my cousin. <laughs> This dog had a, it was a hat made for dogs. Yeah, it was. On the head, he didn't really have a and thing, I but the ears swear went to the you, side. It looked my, like my cousin because it had curly ears that looked like long curly hair. Like, lo like locks. Like locks. And it had like a farmer type hat on. I'm like, that dog looks like my cousin. I think I'm related to that dog. You never know. <laughs>
But anyway, okay, that was the first pet peeve. I'll let you do this, the second pet peeve. Okay, so my second pet we peeve. We saw this. And this was honest, we saw this. Okay, again, hygiene. There's certain hygiene that you just don't do when you're out at a restaurant. I don't care what kind of restaurant it is. There was, you know, so again, going back to this little Irish pub that we were at, we're sitting out on the patio, we're having our meal, and, you know, everybody there looked, you know, there was no, like, you know, everybody looked pretty presentable. I mean, there were, they were, there was this couple that was sitting across from us. And I mean, they were dressed very well. They had, you know, they were also the one with the dog. Um, were they with the dog? Yeah, they were the one with the dog. Oh, but well, they're, they're getting double blasted. They are tonight. getting double blasted. You know, they had, they were having their own quiet conversation, whatever. Well, as soon as they finished their meal, the woman that was sitting there oh, yes. whips out one of those little dental floss things, and I thought I looked right at Marcus <laughs> and I said, "That woman is going to floss her teeth." At the table. At the table. And sure enough, she goes to town. And I mean, I'm all for oral hygiene and all, you know, and making sure you don't have anything in your teeth. But go to the bathroom. I mean, don't whip it out and floss it right there in the middle of the restaurant while other people are trying to eat. And you're trying to pick your teeth because you had something. I mean, it's just, it's just not Okay, let me ask this. What if there is a box of restaurant toothpicks is it okay to do a light sure to do a as light? you're on the way out the door you so, gra- that's why they so have i should i shouldn't be like, like sprawling out stretch going no, ah, that's why they put and those I get my toothpick and like starts digging my teeth the cash register because when you check out you grab a toothpaste a toothpaste a, tooth- a toothpick <laughs> and a tooth- you get out the store you don't grab it and then go back to your seat and start whittling away the gaps between your teeth. It ain't pretty. And nope. then, or do the, my favorite, which my dad used to do, which is really irritating, when you pick your teeth with a toothpick and you go... You eat it. No, you don't eat it. You, you suck it off the tooth. Okay, it's nasty. It's, I mean... What are you supposed to do? Flick it off? I mean, would you like me putting my deodorant on? At the, at, oh, wait, forgot. Pull it out of my purse and start, you know, putting my deodorant on at the table? No, why? It's gross. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you don't pick your teeth at the table. It's oh. just wrong, and especially it it really surprised it me. Wasn't a pick, from, it was it was floss. It was one of those little plastic hooks that has a little dental floss. Yes, it was one of those portable yeah. dental floss. I read things. the I read the C doing the toothpick. Then a dental floss where she's like exactly. I think it is because you can be actually more discreet with a toothpick than you can. That dental thing in it's like, you, but you yank it out. Next and it's, one, and it's yank flinging, it out. and it's ah, uh, you, you got flinging, and then it's just all over the place. So just just next time you go out, I mean, we're all regardless of COVID. I mean, there's certain things you just don't do at a table. I mean, don't pick your nose. You tell your kids all the time, you know, get up and use the restroom. Make sure you wash your hands. You know, don't blow your na- nose at the table either, because that's gross as people are eating. Well, don't pick your teeth at the thing. No teeth picking. No teeth picking. It's I don't care how classy you are and how you may think everybody else is, doesn't care. The people ain't got no more fiber. <laughs> <laughs> it's gross. It's gross there. All right, is there another one? Um, another pet peeve? Do we have another pet peeve? Do we have another pet peeve at the restaurant? Oh. How about... Oh, no, not that one. I guess sometimes you can be, well, we've actually been asked that we've been too loud. Okay. Where, where were we at when we were? <laughs> well, I've been asked, asked quite, a, I've been at quite a few times. Okay, again, going back to our original description of our family, we are loud people. We like to have fun. I remember my my was oldest. The beach? Well, no. Well, that was one of the times. But I remember when our oldest, little mommy, turned 16 and I took her and her friends That's right. out to... I wasn't there. We had a very nice... For her sweet 16, we decided to take the girls out. They all dressed up. We went to a really nice um, dinner at the Olive Garden. That was their choice. You know, we had... A, it was really nice. Well, the girls, you know, I mean, they're 16 year old, 15 and 16 year olds. We were laughing at the table. I mean, I relish in the fact that at least my daughter was willing to let me sit there with all of them. We had a good time. It was her birthday. Um, and the people next to us complained to the waitress that we were 
laughing too much and having too much fun and being too loud. I don't think they said too, too, having too much fun. They probably were complaining you were just too loud. Well, you know what? There it is. Tough noogies. Tough noogies. You're in a family restaurant. It's Olive Garden. It's yes. Manja. It's Italian. <laughs> Italians are loud. Oh, what about last night? The, the table next to behind us, they're big loud and cackling. And... Oh, they were. Well, that was a whole different story. Those were nurses. and We don't know. <laughs> they were, we cannot deny we cannot, nor confirm okay. that they had scrubs they on. They were wearing scrubs, I don't but think we cannot nurses. confirm or deny that they were actually nurses. But they were wearing scrubs, so I'm going to assume that they were nurses. I think they're techs. And they were, <laughs> they were having a... Too much fun. Way too much fun. And they were cackling. They were loud. They were very loud. Yes. But you know what? We were having Falling a over. birthday party. I had arranged at the restaurant to t- tell them. It was me, my daughter, and I think four or five other girls. Four, I think it was four other girls. You know what? They knew we were having a birthday party. They, sh- You know, if they didn't want us being loud, they should have sat us somewhere else. Not next to this big... And it was another family with little kids. I really don't want to hear it. All right. So, uh, I don't have any more pet peeves. <clears throat> Oh, I'm sure we'll find some, but... Uh, you know what? I know how we need to close this one out. Mm. We need to tell them the story about the birthday cake at our place. Which uh, one? Paid the kids. Huh? Me and um your friend. Anyway, we were at, we were at our little establishment that, like, we go, they got food oh. trucks and such. <laughs> In this place, what I do like about it, it is family... It's very family friendly. It is nice. It's lighthearted. You can be inside, outside, and they do a good job. I love the owners, but you know, and people that have birthday parties and the owners. If you know what, if you want to bring your own food in there, because it's not a restaurant, no. and so. But anyway, they have different food trucks every night. But if you're welcome to bring your own food, you know they've got. All different things, like you can bring the kids, the key, they've got different, you know, block stuff. They've got, sometimes they'll have bands out there. Anyway. But anyway, so. And we the, were there with some friends one night, and we were hanging out, and then there was a birthday party that was inside, and we were all joking with the fact, because there was a bunch of kids just running in and out, and we thought, if you know my husband, you know my husband likes cake. I love cake. <laughs> and he always jokes about the fact that if they've got cake, he wants a piece. It doesn't matter whose it is. It doesn't matter whose birthday it is. He wants a piece of cake. And you need to get one. So anyway, we were joking around that when the kids came out, we were going to offer them money if they'd go get us a piece of cake. And it was a joke. So these kids came out. And they were probably between the ages of like 8 oh. and 11. I and mean, said, some of the kids, come here. We were like, come here. <laughs> if we'll give you a dollar for every piece of cake. <laughs> and the kids, of course, you get 8 to 11 years old. And they're like, a dollar? Shoot, yeah. So they ran in and got us four pieces <laughs> of cake. And we gave them like $5. We gave them $5. And, of course, they thought they'd struck gold. They were like, you need anything else? We'll get you another piece. <laughs> and they ran away. Well, apparently mom found out. Because they, she was wanting to know where they got the five dollar bill, and the kid was like, "Well, those people asked us for cake, and we got them cake, and we gave them a five dollar bill." Well, the mom, I think she was a little perturbed, you know, about the fact that we would even ask the kids to get it, and then I think she was even more perturbed that her kids actually did it. So she tried to save face and come out and say. Um, she go, oh, you can have the cake. You could have had the cake. Them. Don't give, don't pay them for it. And we were like, no. I said, we told them, we said, look, it was a joke. We didn't think they were going to do it. I said, we offered them a dollar. They did what they, we, they were told to do. We gave them the money. Absolutely, they need to keep it. It's their money. And, you know, we apologize for the fact that, you know, we were just joking around, um, that we didn't mean to interrupt their party. <laughs> Um, but needless to say, yeah, I don't think that mom was very happy with us. I don't think she. I don't think she was upset or anything. I think it was more on the kids. But you know what? The kids they saw an opportunity and they took it. And you know what? We just taught four kids how to be entrepreneur. No, we taught four kids how to hustle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good way of saying hustle. It is. And they were thrilled with the four of them trying to figure out how they were going to split that five dollar bill. I know, it was good. <laughs> so anyway, that's our, our ending story right there. That's so, our restaurant stuff for tonight. Our restaurant stuff for tonight here. So anyway, we want to thank you again for tuning in and listening to us. We are on um, we are on Spotify. We are on also Google Podcasts, Apple, and um, Podbean. So with that, 
My name is Marcus. And I am Debbie. Thank you for listening again to Discussions.